we are outside getting some fresh air because we were getting tired of being cooped up inside the house. So we're outside in the backyard. Austin, Elena and Austin are walking around. I don't know, going on a treasure hunt in the backyard. Meanwhile, Chloe is out here. She was singing part of Frozen 2. Um, not now. Anyway. Um, oh, oh there is Elena and Austin. They just went behind the shed. So, um, anyway, there, there they are. They're just walking around looking for stuff to do. So, at least it's not too bad out today. Tomorrow is Monday. Our spring break will officially be over. And although they don't go back to school across the street to the school building, they will be starting their homework packets and online stuff or whatever whatever they the teachers put together for them so that should be interesting um, we have told the kids that just because they will be home doing their work and not going to school they still have bedtimes still have their regular bedtimes um, they still don't get Screen time whenever they want. Um, so anyway, this should be interesting. There are now two cases. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but there are now two cases of the coronavirus in Reno County, which is right next to our county. We live in Rice. So far, I haven't heard of any cases in Rice County. I am praying that we don't get any. I know it's just a matter of time, but still praying. Anyway, um, so I will see you there. Uh, we are going to do our functions to uh, detect and prevent and respond to outbreaks where they occur. The China office uh, is actually being... No, you want to make uh, a speak, one uh, baby step. Mother, may I take one giant step? No, you may hey, uh, take three baby steps. China is a very good relationship. I wish they told us okay, cool. three months sooner that uh, this was a problem. Mother. We didn't know about lives throughout the world. What? If you look at what's happening in Italy and Spain and a lot of other countries, we can no, see No, you may take one big step. What? Okay, but... Okay, mother, may I take one tiny step? Threat to the yes. Of the <laughs> to get, uh, okay, there. Okay, but giant. Hey guys, what's up? Um, it is evening actually no it is night time now it's let's see not almost 10 o'clock at night um yeah so i am getting ready to head to hutch um i'm in my van so that's why the lighting is not the greatest and it's dark out so anyway i'm getting ready to head to hutch to walmart to pick up chloe's birthday present for this weekend because i want to go ahead and get it now because just in case we go under some kind of a stay-at-home order um so far no one in our county still has it yet i don't want to jinx that but knock on wood no wood around but anyway um but so anyway yeah i just want to go ahead and go run the hydro fast and grab that don't worry i will practice social distancing at six feet from everyone um anyway i just want to get that done so that before while i'm still able to leave town just in case something like that does go into effect. So anyway, I will get off of here and I will see you when I'm in Hutch. Bye. Okay, so guess what? 
I should have known, but I forgot because it's out of habit. But Walmart here has started closing like, I don't know, 7.30 or 8.30 or something like that. Anyway, they start closing early because of, you cannot see me. Sorry, my light went off. Um, anyway, they started closing early because of the coronavirus thing going around. So, and I completely forgot about that. I got clear a little bit past Nickerson. Thankfully, I didn't go, get all the way to Hutch before I remembered. But anyway, I guess I will just have to go tomorrow during the day. And I guess I'll just take someone with me, one of the kids with me, I guess. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyway, yeah, so... I am back home now, and so I guess I will try again tomorrow. See you in the morning. Good night. Good afternoon, guys. Um, today we are outside planting, or I should say transplanting, some flowers that, they're irises that my great aunt gave to me. Yeah, you, I, I, did you play upside down? It looks upside down. That looks upside down. To me. I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, these irises right here, I'll already see all these. We've gotten them planted, but all this whole pile right here was in our wheelbarrow. And I thought they were going to be no good. Well, they started um, sprouting out in the wheelbarrow, so we're planting these now. Um, I don't know, if, is that one deep enough? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, yeah, that's what we are doing today. I still have to go to Hutch today to Walmart, pick up Chloe's birthday present. And guys, but, this is called a flower bed. Yep. Chloe says this is called a flower bed in case anyone didn't know. Right, Chloe? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Nice forehead. Hey. Watch the camera. So. So, okay. All right. We are going to finish planting these flowers and we will see you guys later. Bye. You Hold on. Put this one. Okay. Go. Okay, so Chloe wants to show you this plant right here. We just planted it. had a ton of sprouts coming up. Try to so dig this one right we're here. We're going to dig this next big one, and just, Chloe's got a little one there. So, all right. See you later. Guys, we planted this and this and this and this and this. We planted this. We planted all of these. We still have a pile right there to plant, yeah. but we're going to take a short break. Um, now let's plant some more. Because, I don't know, does anyone else have a issue, have issues with getting uh, dried okay. dirt on their fingers and under the, ugh, I can't stand it, sorry, it just bothers me. Um, so, we're going to take a short break. No. Um, i got to find my gloves, my gardening gloves, so... But anyway, while well, we wanted to show you our progress, and I think it looks really good, we are actually going to have flowers in our flower bed this year. Yay! Be careful, Chloe. I am so, laughing. All right. But guess what, guys? What? What do you want to show them, Chloe? This. Oh, yeah, we got to plant that one, too. Yeah. We'll probably plant, and plant some more down here. So, all right, we will see you guys later. Hey guys, so I forgot to mention earlier, but I mentioned it now, mentioning it now, I cannot talk. Anyway, I mentioned it now to you guys, but what, Chloe? You're eating. Yeah, be careful, don't fall on that. Um, anyway, in our small community that we live in in Sterling um, we have there's four whistles four whistles that blow every day one at seven in the morning they come from our power plant 
Um, but one at seven in the morning. Mommy, what? Over there. Yeah, we play. We we'll play. The, we'll finish playing the rest of them later. Okay. We're taking a little bit of a lunch break. But anyway, we have one blows at seven in the morning, and then one at twelve noon, and then one another one at one o'clock. I don't know why they're back to back like that, but they just always have been. And then our last and final whistle of the day is at six o'clock at night. Um, I don't know why they ever started that, but it's been doing that. They've been doing that here ever since I was little, as ever since I can remember. So anyway, so I would imagine I know it goes back further than that. But anyway. Um, our pastor, I think it was our pastor, had the idea. I don't know, somewhere I read on Facebook, I don't think it was our pastor. But anyway, had this wonderful idea. And I was like, I'm in, I'll do it. But every time we hear a whistle, now this is, we don't always hear the whistles because, you know, we live in Sterling. We, our bodies just adjust to them. We don't always hear them. But every time we hear one of the whistles go off, we're supposed to stop and pray for our country. I know maybe not all of you who follow us or all of you who watch this may not be Christians. Maybe that's not your thing to pray. And I'm not here to tell you to pray if you're not Christian. Um, I'm not forcing any religions on anyone. But if you are, if you're the praying type, maybe find something in your community that every kind. I do not want mud wiped on me. Anyway, if you're the praying type, find something in your community or in your area that you could like every time some, that would happen, that you would say a prayer for our country. Or maybe just if you can't think of anything, maybe just like set an alarm on your phone every so often throughout the day to say a prayer. Where did you drop your fork at? You don't know. You just dropped it and it just disappeared into the ground. I see a red juice packet that somebody threw on the ground. Let me go get you another one because I don't see it. Rest in peace to the missing fork now. I'll be back. Now it's ready. What's ready? Oh, to go to the dump? Okay, tell daddy. So anyway, yeah. Um, I just thought that was a neat idea and you know our country really needs prayer right now and support everyone needs to support each other so yeah if you're the praying type maybe you could find something for you guys to do okay so take two of going to walmart to get chloe's birthday present since I forgot that they were closed last night. So, I'll let you know when we get there. What's up guys? We just came out of Walmart and got Chloe's birthday present and a few other things. Got me a new pillow because Chloe tore mine apart the other night. And got a couple pairs of flip flops for Elena and Chloe. So we are heading home now. Um, by the way, got the sunroof open. It's a beautiful day. So we'll see you when we get home. I totally forgot. So we're back in town and now we're waiting on a train. buy it right now because I have the money for that Yay. anyway I hate trains hey guys we are home from Hutch now and I've got Chloe's present wrapped right here I'm not going to show or tell what it is right now because I don't know if I'll get this video edited and posted before her birthday or not. And if I do get it, it depends on how fast I get editing and stuff. She likes to watch our videos and so that way I don't want to give it away. So 
anyway, I guess it would be a surprise for you guys too. Uh, yeah, I used this Paw Patrol wrapping paper. That's all I had. Um, she's having a Frozen 2 birthday party. Um, but it's just family now, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, when we, we postponed her friend party, so I guess when, um, this is all over with, and everything, coronavirus is gone and everything, then when we have her friend party, then she can, you know, I might get her, I don't know, maybe something little, won't be anything real big like this, but we'll get her something little and wrap it in maybe some frozen tube paper, you know. So, but anyway, this is just basically just a family party, just us, and it will literally be just us. Besides, the only extra people will be here is my brother and sister-in-law and their three their three girls. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if, I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, um, because my mom just got more hours at her place of work. And so she has to work on Sunday. Mike's mom can't come because she just had surgery before, right, like right before Thanksgiving. And now it's like with that, and she's been having trouble, some issues with that. And she's older, and so, you know, she, she doesn't want to get out and take chances of getting this coronavirus. So she's choosing to stay at home. So. She won't be here either. So it will literally just be us and Brett and Tiffany and their three girls. So anyway, hey Boots. Boots don't care. This is the king of the house. This is Alyssa's kitty cat, Boots. He, she's had him since, well she's 17, she's going to be turning 18 this year. She's had him since she was three, so yeah. Anyway, he got the name Boots because he doesn't really look like he has boots on, but she got the name Boots from Boots, the monkey on Dora, the explorer. Keep in mind, she got him when she was three, and she used to watch Dora, so, when she was three. So, yeah, that's where the name Boots came from, right, Bootsy boy? He's the king. He's the king of the house, right? Yep. All right. We'll talk to you later. Say bye, Boots. Say bye.